show you how to desk Invento. So that is one of the uh, main construction programs you have on the market. So people who are creating industry uh, products in general. That could be something like that. So if you have uh, these kind of um, environment and you, or you want to build some kind of trucks or, or tools or special things, then you have applications like that. Um, on the other side, it's, uh, also in this kind of area, the visual quality gets more and more, and more important. So people want to work also with shadows, they want to work with reflections. So they have um, different, uh, the, the, the general quality of what they want to do has increased quite a lot. And like you can see, the main thing what they have here is a lot of geometry. So besides the game industry, where you just have really good picture quality, but mainly are working with uh, with textures, just to get this picture quality, you, you need here geometry. So all of these uh, screws, tools, bearings, everything has to be inside, since you are just creating and constructing it. And that means uh, yeah, you have to see it on your screen. And if you have big things like that, so that's already quite a uh, large thing, so it also needs quite a lot of performance. The examples we have here is uh, the Adobe Premiere Pro. It's mainly for video editing. Maybe some of you already know it. And uh, they also uh, want to see everything you are creating. You want to see it in real time on your screen. So what you can see here, so that's what you have for, these are the video layers. We just um, have a small uh, grading effect on that. And if you just uh, play back it, so you see, you see it in real time. That is a little bit special here, since uh, the video material we have here is in a so-called 4K resolution. So the resolution is 4096 pixels, and that means that you have to handle a lot of data at the same time. <laughs> um, so when you just take a look on that, so you can see all of the, uh, the effects. So the main idea is that you see it in real time, so if I do something, you see it at once. If I play it, you also see it at once. So that's how it should be. Okay, we we'll right now have here a graphics card inside. What we can do is we can just switch, switch it off. So in uh, Premiere Pro, it's called Mercury Playback Engine. So that means that it's uh, GPU accelerated with CUDA. CUDA is an interface for the graphics card to use it as a CPU. So we can just switch it off. That means only software. Okay, yes please. So we should start it again. And then we wait. We wait. Ah, there's something coming up. And wait. And again, we wait. So it, it's slow. And what you do is, you take uh, the construction data from your CAT application, that could be something like CATIA or uh, Siemens NX, and put it inside a visualization system. And uh, here, uh, what you can see, when we just uh, put it a little bit since there are, there's an easy way how to see how that uh, it's physical, physically correct or not, since if objects are um, reflecting <coughs> each other, and you can see that here on, on the mirror, then it's, right, uh, then it's correct. So if I switch that off, so this is called ray tracing, so then it's really, really fast, but it's not correct anymore, since there are no reflections anymore. So that's uh, not what we want to see. So what you can do is, um, you can change the environment so that people can see how their nice Mercedes car will look like at the end if you have it in your garage. Uh, you can also see uh, how uh, the car might look if you change the colors. So if you want to have it in red plastic, um, it looks a little bit like that. And that's where this kind of technology or these kind of uh, applications are already used. So if you go to your local car vendor and if you want to buy a car, you can already see um, you want to see the, change the color, you want to change the interior, you want to change uh, the wheels, you can directly see at once what uh, your car will at the end look like. Something like a D or whatever, so it's a quite nice thing if you like objects like that. And you also want to, to render these kind of things. Um, so we go to the render setup, and here you see something that's called iWay, so that is also that something that uses the graphics card. And uh, here you can see what the, the hardware uses. So the first one, we are working with the graphics card, so you can see it takes some seconds just to prepare everything, and then at the end you see a really nice visual that uh, yeah, hopefully is what you want to see. 
And you can see uh, this so-called number of iterations. So it's doing a couple of uh, how many 10, 15 per second. And so roughly after now we have here 10 seconds, the image is ready. Yeah, so that looks already nice. So we say cancel, okay, please close. Then we just switch off the graphics cards, start the render again. And then it's the same. So it takes some time before everything is there. And then you can already see these number of iterations. So it's five, seven, eight. So it's about 10 times slower. 